Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while, uh, but I, I had to work on some AI product that I'm gonna share with you soon on the channel. But today's topic is very different. I wanna talk to you about Hackintoshin and why I think Hackintoshin is still worth it in 2023. I know that I said in my last video that Hackintoshin is starting to have the beginning of the end so to speak but i'm gonna share with you today one of the reasons why i believe hackintoshin is not dead yet stay tuned to watch out so hackintoshin it's been something that i've been doing for almost six or seven years now and i've been quite familiar with how it works so i started with clover first and then we now have open core so the process has been you know somehow different but i have to tell you that there is one reason that I'm still gonna use my Hackintosh in 2023. I still use my MacBook, the one you see here, when I go to the cafes or when I go out to write or whenever I'm, you know, uh, outside. But when I wanna really do some intense work, I use my desktop, which is a Hackintosh. I know that with the release of the M3 recently, and also the M2 Pro, the M2 Max, the M1 even, a lot of people think that having a Mac is a good value now, which is really true. I actually believe that. But if you are one of these people, which I'm gonna mention right now, then a Hackintosh would be a better option for you. If you are a Windows user, then of course a Hackintosh would make sense. I try to use Windows on ARM, so to speak, but it doesn't really work well. I try to use virtualization on Mac to use Windows, but it doesn't work. It's really lacking a lot of apps and it's not that performance that you would expect from Windows. So if you're a Windows user, I still believe that a Hackintosh is a good option. Which brings us to the second thing. If you are a gamer, then a Hackintosh is a must. And in this case, it's me. I am a gamer, I'm a PC gamer. And when I try to switch from a Hackintosh to a Mac, I was faced with a really tough question. Will I lose my PC gaming experience for the sake of having a Mac experience purely made by Apple Silicon? Or would I just stick to my Hackintosh? And guess what I did? I stuck with my Hackintosh because I believe in the idea of dual booting your PC, having two options, having multiple options, maybe Linux, Windows, and Mac. So for me, it made sense to have a Hackintosh in 2023. Even though I said in my last video that this is the beginning of the end of the Hackintosh experience, it's just because Apple will not support most Intel-based Macs for more than five years or even six years. There's gonna come a time where Apple support will drop for Intel Macs, which means that Hackintosh will be stuck with the previous version of macOS. But I still believe in Hackintosh just because I'm a PC gamer and I really enjoy deal booting Windows and Mac OS. So if you're like me, you're a gamer and you want to have this dual experience, I still believe that Hackintosh is the best option. And guess what? It's still cheaper than a Mac. If you compare the Mac Studio, especially the M3 Max or the M3 Ultra that's gonna come later, it's gonna be so much expensive than having, for example, an Intel i9 13900K or an AMD 6950XT. That combo will be so powerful. In fact, it's even more powerful than the M2 Ultra in some cases, because what really is lacking in the Apple Silicon is the GPU power. I mean, Apple has been doing great job with its GPU in the Apple Silicon so far, but it doesn't come as close as to the dedicated GPU you can get with a Hackintosh. So to wrap it up, if you really need gaming on your Mac, then I would suggest to build a Hackintosh. If you don't care about gaming, if you're just a content creator, you just edit videos and use maybe some design workflows, then just get a Mac Studio or a Mac Mini. But gaming on Mac still sucks. And the only way is Windows. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. But before we go, I have someone here who's uh, interested in Hackintosh. So, would you want to have a MacBook 
or a PC like mine, which will dual boot Windows and Mac OS. You have one second to answer. A PC. So you want to go with the Hackintosh? Yes. <laughs> there you go. My girlfriend likes a Hackintosh, so I'm just going to stick with it. Cheers and see you guys. Cheers.